morning guys, welcome to today's video. So Ellie just peed on the rocks. I always thought dogs peed on the grass. No, she pees on the rocks. But anyways, welcome Look to today. Hay. She's on the hay bale. Oh my gosh. It's gorgeous out. I'm gonna show you, I don't know if you can see. There's little Tothy. I'll go closer. Shoot, she jumped. <laughs> that tiny, tiny little goat. She's so cute. She was on top of the hay bale. That hay bale has lasted us so long, you guys. Ever since the grass came up, the horses won't eat it. Anyway, it is glorious out today. It is sunny and warm. Two days of raining and, and now it's warm. My friend in Australia told me they're going through this huge drought. And I looked it up and basically we went through like this weather pattern called El Nino this past winter. Made it be really mild here and now we're going into something called El Nino and basically it makes it colder and drought. These guys get so sad when I lose my other... I know. I think we should leave them in here at night now. What about the other chickens? Yeah, let the other chickens in there with them. Lock them in now. They need to all get used to each other so they can go out. It's the only way they can start going out. Look at him. Here, pass me all the waterers and I'll go fill them with fresh, okay. clean water. So is he your favorite? No. Toad. Yeah, but is he your second favorite? No. That one. That boy. So I like him. And then my favorite girl is the only girl we have. I love the girl. I don't like him as much. I love him. Comment like below him. if you love him. Put, show me his feathers. His feathers? Yeah, like just... Ew. He's a gray. Take the poo. <laughs> I'm not taking the poo. <laughs> this is poo happens, so be when you're on a farm. Okay. Oh, he is so cute. All right, let me take all the all the waters. I'll take him in and give him a big scrub. And here, pass me that little one. No matter how much I try and keep the chickens in the back so that they don't get run over or hurt or whatever, there's always a stray one that comes running <laughs> in the front. And I don't know how this one gets through here because it's so small and it doesn't fly. So I don't know how she hopped the fence. <laughs> Ellie, she's not your friend. <laughs> she kind of looks grouchy. Hi, little chicky. We're friends. She's like, nobody's my friend. How does this chicken get out here all the time? Fly. Flies over the fence. How? It doesn't fly. They have really small wings. She doesn't fly. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I see her there. I, don't know. I know she's always out here. Since yesterday, when Honey cast herself right in front of us, like literally, we were just standing there, and within minutes she ca casted herself. She couldn't get up from that spot either. Like, that's the thing about that spot is that her head was going downhill, and her feet was up, so she was like this. This was her. This my watch was her head, and she was like that, and then she was rolled down a hill, so she wasn't going to get up. And the thing is, is, when they lay like that for too long, it can be really dangerous. Ever since that happened, Sam and I have been coming out to check the animals all day. And right now they think it's dinner time. But I get nervous now when one's missing. Clearly we can tell who's in heat. Who's in heat? <laughs> can you tell who's in heat, Sam? Yeah. Who? Lady. Who? Lady. Lady. Do you know? Half the car is clean, the under half. Like, oh, yeah. Half, if you're looking at it sideways, half of it is clean. And it's we clean. washed the car through the drive. Through the, drive. the top is not clean at all. I paid for the most expensive car wash. We took it through the car wash, and then we drove it. And then when we got out of the car, it was dirty. <laughs> so, yeah, that's crazy. So it's crazy. And Gabby is very particular about her car. But anyway, I still don't see honey. They're over here on the side. He both does of only have one. Both of, the, both of them are over here? Yeah. I only, oh yeah. <laughs> Just checking on you again. She's like, wow, we've had lots of attention today. Yeah. Where is it? I find it funny that in the morning they're all sleeping together. I know, you guys. I'll show you that video. I have, a, well, the vi did you have good quality? Because when you send it to me, it was really bad quality. Well, the only quality. No, but sometimes when you send it in text, it... It, it takes uh, away from the quality. You probably have better quality than me. But I have a picture 
The craziest thing is that our herd sleeps together. All of them sleep together, except for maybe Penny. But isn't that crazy? Like, to me, that's a sign of a happy herd. A happy herd, like, all the time when we sent, all that time we spent making sure that the stalls were okay and figuring out where everybody was gonna sleep. And it turns out that they, cause we leave them outside at night now. So when Sam comes in in the morning, they're all sleeping in here together. It's so crazy. Why are you being mean to my dog? Eh? You don't, I don't think she likes dogs. She tried to bite Ruby the other day. She's fine when the pig was there. This thing is always peeing. <laughs> She's like, oh, you guys are talking. The video is on. Let me just pee. Maybe the pig was in it so many times. Because look, the, wa the ground is all wet. Somebody was in it. Yeah. Was it empty this morning? It was like this this morning and I filled it up. To maybe like almost halfway full. Well, when she climbs in, it puts the side down. So a little bit comes out each time. So maybe that's why. So at night, Sam comes out and he blocks off all the gates. Like he closes all the gates. And that makes it so that the horses can't go and eat grass at night. Did he break it? Yes. Yeah. Well, these lasted a long time. They lasted a whole month, I think. Maybe even six weeks. Well, these lasted a whole six weeks, actually. You might be thinking that somebody is missing from our family, and it's Sophie. She's gone to sleep at a friend's house. She, her and her friends go back and forth on sleeping on each other's houses. And <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> oh, my goodness. So Storm's getting some uh, more bell boots on because he needs them more than anybody else. Oh, he loves you. He does love her though. He loves her so much. Like it's so crazy. I washed my hair last night. It probably smells like my shampoo. No, he likes you. Look at how big they are. They're huge. Who cares? Put them on tight. They, the farrier says the bigger the better. Okay, not with him. He just pulls them off. No, I think that's perfect. You can get my horses off. And the horses are like, whoa, geez, Louise, that was scary. Is it good? Good? When I look at her, I'm always like amazed at how gorgeous she is. Anyways, when we first were looking for horses before we, for, before we found Storm, like just before we found Storm, everybody said, don't get a horse, don't get a horse. Your kids are going to grow out of them. They're going to move out. You're not going to need a horse. And that, we knew that that would happen. Like we knew that that was a possibility that our kids were going to grow up and then we'd have these horses. Right, lady? We knew that was gonna happen. But Sam and I knew that we wanted a farm. Like we wanted our own farm. Like Sam and I wanted to be farmers. It wasn't just about the kids. Like we wanted, we wanted horses for ourselves. It's our plan that our animals will just live with us forever until they expire. Even if our kids grow out of them, even if our kids grow up and move out or go to school, our horses still have a place on our farm. And, like Stormy Boy, who's 17, he'll probably just stay here. But I've had people inquire about um, leasing him, just like older women wanting to ride him around their property kind of thing. And so far we've just said no. Because I feel like he's happy at home. Even though it's hard just having one boy, I feel like he's happy here. He know he loves his girls. He knows his people. I don't know. It just feels right to have him home right now. Oh, you got itchies underneath your chin. I love the sound she makes when she's getting fed. Anyway, so Sophie's away. So it's just us three and it feels so lonely. Doesn't it feel lonely? But we're still happy. Is that bird poop on her butt or is it uh, a cunt? I don't know. She's like, give me my food. Are you gonna come down with me while I do my goats and my pigs? Maybe. Yeah. But look at how good everybody is. Everybody 
manages to eat together, except for Storm. <laughs> Storm goes in his stall, but then he comes back out. But these two over here, the Palominos are over here. They eat together. And then these three girls can all eat. They eat their own food. They, and look at, she's already finished. She doesn't try and take anybody else's food. I feel like her herd is happier than it's been in a year. Do you feel like it's happier than it's been in a year? I'm just surprised they all slept together. I know, I can't believe it. T comment below if that's a sign of a happy herd. I feel like that's a sign of a happy herd. If they all lay down and are comfortable to sleep together all at the same time like that. Willow was already done. Willow walked away and then Lady went over there. But she's looking at her bowl. The only thing that I notice that's different, every time you add a new horse or you take away a horse, things change. Dynamics change for sure. But the only thing that I notice that's different. Somehow he always remains. Neutral? Storm? Yeah, Storm is always the leader. But the one thing that I've noticed is that Gracie is less in the herd now like once we got honey she got in the herd more she was like so proud and so like in love with her baby and then when we got lady and lady tried to steal her baby um and she just i don't know she just seems less active in the herd she just seems less happy and i don't know she she just is more on her own but the thing is is that in the past um, when Gracie wasn't in the herd, like she was at the bottom of the herd, she would fight everybody all the time. She was always fighting people, all the time. And then, but now she doesn't ever fight. She just like is, is content with her place in the herd. It feels like, it feels like that to me, but it still makes me sad to see her like walking away and being on her own and just not coming up to everybody because she knows that they're gonna push her off. I don't know. I guess just because I saw her at a time when she actually like felt more confident in the herd. That's the only change that I've noticed. But it's not like super awful or anything. But more. But other than that, I really do think that they are like happier than they've been in a year. All right. So you saw how six horses are so calm, even with food. They're so friendly. They're so wonderful. Well, now you're about to see what goats and pigs are like, because there's nothing like that with them. Just taking a quick peek at the garden. Wow, look at all those flowers still coming. So many peas. I don't know how I got cucumbers here. That's so bizarre, but you know what? One of my favorite vegetables is cucumbers, so I'm so glad to have a lot of cucumbers. You can already hear it, guys. You can already hear it. <laughs> That's like the worst sound on earth is this baby. Listen to him. That is the worst sound. Where have you been digging? The pigs are digging everything up, Sam. Come on, little, come on, little piggy. I think he's digging right here. Uh-oh. You just call them. Say, come on. Come on. <laughs> He's jumping. Come on. Come on. He's afraid of the door. Come on. Come on. What are you afraid of? Usually he just walks right into his stall. Get in there. Get in there. <laughs> He's getting more adventurous. Want to feed pigs or goats? Uh, pigs are easier, right? Yeah. yeah <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everything went so smoothly <laughs> until Ellie ate Mia's egg. Can you hear? She's unhappy. Come here. I got another egg. <laughs> got you another egg. You're okay. Ellie, come on. You get over here. Come on. Come on. Um, I just need to give the boys some hey. hay. She's going to have to stick with me because she does bad things. Is that for the boys? Or? Yeah. Here, I'll do it. Oh, that was pretty uneventful, though. Ellie, get over here. We don't eat chicken's eggs. Everybody's so happy having their dinner. There you go, guys. All right, so who do you say is easier, the horses or the goats and the pigs? Well, I mean, the goats are easy today, but... Yeah, they were really easy today. Horses are pretty easy. I know. I love our farm. 
I love our animals. So I forget where I left off, but when we came out of the barn, there were some people walking by on the road and they wanted to come in and see all the animals. That happens a lot. When you have a farm, you get people walking by and they often want to come and see the animals. That They said that they pet the pigs and they pet the goats through the fence every day when they go for a walk. They had two little boys. That's honestly so cute. Don't you know that you're beautiful?